Hello, my name's River, and welcome to my Monster Hunter World painting video. Today, I'll be working on the Rathalos, the final monster model in the core set for the Ancient Forest. This model comes in three pieces, the body and the two wings. There are slots and pegs in which to plug in the wings. My model came a little bit messed up. It was missing some toes and was detached from the base. And the wings didn't quite plug in as cleanly as I would have liked. So to remedy this and to seal the holes left by the shoulder gaps, I got myself some green stuff. You can find this online or even at your LGS. As you can see it's missing some toes and the spot that it broke off on the base I tried reattaching once before and it didn't quite work. Go ahead and mix up the two part putty. Take a length of it and put it on the peg where it plugs into the shoulder. Smooth it out a little and then just go ahead and put the shoulder in. It's my first time dealing with green stuff, so I learned a couple of things through the process and <laughs> found some mistakes that I could have done better but the process is permanent and I already went through with it. I took some tools that I had purchased for the specific job and tried to smooth out and press in the green stuff so that it wouldn't be just a mound sticking out. It takes me some time and I, I do learn after the fact that I could have added some water to this just to make it a little more easy to work with. Do the same thing to the other wing. I also try to use green stuff and super glue to attach the base of the model back to the model. This doesn't end up going too well, but I think I did a pretty decent job. I'll try using some green stuff and some super glue and let it sit overnight, propping it up with a couple of spray cans. This whole intro gets a bit messy, but I do like how the model ends up turning out. I let the green stuff cure overnight so that it's nice and solidified and bonded completely with the model. I prime with matte black. And as you can see, at a glance you can't really tell that the wings are green stuffed on. I think I did pretty alright for my first try. start off with fair skin and this model has a lot of surface area so you're gonna need a lot of paint. I use this fair skin on the wings watering it down a bit so that it'll get into the creases. This ends up taking a majority of the time is just getting the base coat down on <laughs> the majority of the model. I had also considered doing an overbrush by using a dry brush but not wiping the paint off of it. I opt not to, just to make sure that I fill in all of the webbing on the wings. This will probably take multiple coats because we're using a light color over a black spray prime. Do the same thing to the bottom of the wings. Be sure to take your time and don't rush this otherwise you'll kind of get an uneven coat and that might not look too appealing. I 
don't worry about getting the paint anywhere on like the bottom parts of the Rathalos' body, because this is going to be painted fair skin as well. I avoid the scales on the upper thigh, purely because we're going to go back and paint that red. But for the most part, from the knee down, and anything on the bottom half of the Rathalos, I go ahead and I paint with the fair skin color. When I get to his face, I do the bottom jaw and the ears. Your legs, as well as your toes and claws. Although I do go back and I change the color of the claws, this works as a base coat. end up having a mishap here, and it falls right off the base again, and loses his toes. So I kind of give up on that for now. I resign this Rathalos to being toeless, and I don't fix the base until later. I come back with Dragonfire Red, and I just start working on the top half of the Rathalos. All of the scales and plates that you see all on its body. You want to color them your choice of red and just follow it from the tip of its nose all the way down to its tail. The top half of its arms as well, all the way to the wingtips. I avoid the spikes as I want to keep them black. Any overlap we can easily fix with a bit of color later down the line. And I'm back with a smaller brush and I go ahead and do the thighs and all the scales on them. I also paint about halfway down on the wing membrane with this red. I originally tried to dry brush it, but that didn't really give me the coverage I was looking for. Darkstone. I begin painting the dark details on the Rathalos, including its spiked chin and the black pattern that goes down its body. I would say you can follow the Rathalos' design from the game. I kind of go with my own thing. It's not 100% accurate, but then again, these are still animals at the end of the day, and their patterns aren't going to be 100% identical to each other. Feel free to make your own monster patterns. Make sure I get his eyebrow and follow the center scales and spikes down its entire back. I very lightly get the edges of some of the scales on top of the head. as well as the claws, what's left of them. On the underside of the Rathalos' wings, I paint the weird patterns, which kind of look like two incomplete circles combined, or maybe ovals. You might want to water your paint down just slightly more than normal so that you can get into the webbing and it'll pop up a little easier. 
I do a couple of these on each wing. And because it's detached from the base, we can kind of do the weird incomplete omega symbol on its chest. At least that's what it looks like to me. It's not always easy to find a decent reference and some of the patterns and designs change from game to game. But like I said, you can use your own creativity here. From the tip of the wings webbing, I fill it in with this dark stone again and start working my way down and doing these sort of similes of flames. It's like long twisty strands. I do this relatively randomly, but I do try to make it a little bit symmetrical from wing to wing. There's another bit sticking out here in this crook. dark and strong tones. I mix them one to one and add just a little bit of water and go ahead and I wash the entire bottom half of the monster. Again, silver lining of it breaking off the base is that I can very easily get to the underside of the monster. I end up using a lot of wash and if you want you could use a little more water than regular so that the tone isn't too dark and it'll spread easier. It'll also make your paint last a little longer. I do this on all of the beige colors. It's under parts and it's wing webbing on top and bottom of it. This will help blend where the red meets the beige as well as the spikes on it. skeleton bone. I go ahead and I just kind of color the bone spike around the tail stinger. There's the part above it, below it, and I end up doing a couple of the spikes to the side of it. I leave the larger spikes black. And I go ahead and I give the teeth a bit of color. I opt not to paint the tongue, but that's just the preference for this one. I also go ahead and I paint the eye with the skeleton bone. Black wash, I mix that with just a little bit of water, and I paint all of the red bits with this. As well as the dark stone that we painted along its back. You also want to do the wing arms. If you're dealing with this much wash, I would suggest wearing a mask or keeping a window open nearby. I return with the fair skin and I dry brush the most upwards facing ridges on the wings. Just to give them a little bit of that pop. I also go ahead and I very carefully highlight the edges of parts of its face, such as the ears, the larger scales, and the edge of the mouth.
I also do this to the feet, highlighting the tops of the toes and the ridges along the bone structure and musculature of the legs. I go back with that Dragonfire Red and I just paint the stinger this bright red color. With that still wet, I go ahead and I dry brush most of the red bits on the body. I try to get the upwards facing parts and focus more so on the edges of the scales where they're furthest away from the body. I focus on a single line down the wing arms to try to give it a, a vertical facing highlight. Very carefully edge highlight the scales on the legs as well. And just randomly stipple a bit of this color on the scales along the tail and the body. This will give it a bit of randomness and a bit of texture as well. I reattach the dragon and I very gently color the eyes blue. Probably should have waited to reattach the base to do the eyes, but it is what it is. The original matte black, I color the base and smooth it out. Quick revisit with ash gray, and I dry brush the spikes on the wing arms and the tail to sort of bring out the texture. And with that, I call the Rathalos done. The model gave me the most trouble out of all the monsters so far, but I think it was more of a fluke with the damage that came with the model. I'm unsure if I want to do the Hunters, so let me know if you guys want to see that. Otherwise, leave a comment, and I'll see you in the next one.